gonna vlog today because since I got here I wake up tired and I always want to sleep and I don't do anything with my day that is worth vlogging actually to be honest I did start vlogging a few days bunch of errands to run for the restaurant and she ruins the start of my vlogs and so I end up stop vlogging like two hours later. Some of you may ask why don't you vlog like while you're doing errands? Well you don't understand my mom if I'm taking like five minutes longer than what I'm supposed to take she'll call me screaming. So I asked her to leave me alone today and tomorrow because I want to vlog. To be honest it's gonna be a very boring day. I just dropped off my sister at school. She's been in a bad mood lately because she's not been doing great at school. And I feel so bad for her because she has a learning disability, um, but she doesn't want to get the papers for it, like the certificate. She used to have it when she was in elementary school and she would get bullied for it because she had like a teacher that would be with her the whole time and it was just embarrassing for her. So she decided that she would not get that anymore and she struggles a lot and she studies every single day with a private teacher for like five hours every single day. Like she only gets an hour break to eat lunch after school and yet she still gets really bad marks. She already um, failed a year so she's repeating the first year of high school again. Yeah, it sucks. I'm going to my parents restaurant because I need to clean my car because it's Disgusting. My mom has been giving it to um, her employees to like deliver food or like for work related things. Pesce congelata con la bendoggio. favorite thing to do when everybody's coming out is to look at their outfits so I can get like style inspo for my sister she always asks me to make her outfits in the morning and I don't know what T 
teenagers are wearing these days. <laughs> Eccola! I miei conigli bevono così. Sì, Salve, volevo chiederle qual è il prezzo per lavare dei sedili di una macchina? Ok, va bene, grazie mille. Prego, buongiorno. Arrivederci. Definitely not doing that. But my seats are disgusting, they're so stained, I don't know what happened to them. Pronto? Sì, salve, volevo chiederle quanto costa eh, lavare i sedili di un'auto da voi? Sì, che ma sono sedili in pelle o in tessuto? In tessuto. 80 euro. Ok, va bene, grazie. never going to work in the restaurant industry ever again because it sucks. If you work in a restaurant, you know that it sucks. And if you like it, you're lying. Okay. I'm going home now. I finished my shift. It didn't really need me because it wasn't really busy. I guess because of the storm, uh, a lot of people didn't show up. And all I had to do was making drinks. So I don't know if you can really call that working, but I'm done and it's like 9.30 p.m. now and I'm bringing food to my sister. But yeah, while I get home, I'm gonna answer to some of your comments that I got on my previous video because I didn't get around to reply to any of them yet. A few people asked me 
um, about the bunnies, like what, what's gonna happen to them the whole summer and my boyfriend's gonna take care of them. Obviously we live together so he already had to take care of them half the time so it's not that big of a change. He's a really good bunny dad, he takes really good care of them and they'll be fine. I'm obviously gonna miss them a lot but I don't think bringing them on a flight back and forth is a good thing for them because rabbits are really delicate animals and I don't want to put them through that stress like I would bring them here if I knew I was gonna be staying here permanently but it doesn't make sense for them to come here it's not a vacation for them and also a few people thought that I was gonna stay here permanently but I'm just here for the whole summer my return ticket is on September 3rd but I can change the date um, if I want so I might delay it like late September if I feel like it. We'll see how I feel at the end of the summer. And also a few people asked me how me and my boyfriend manage with long distance. If we like have discussed how we're gonna do this and if it's hard for us. And we've been doing this ever since we started dating. I always took the time to come back home and visit my family. Like he knows that family comes first no matter what so i've always left him for a few months a year to come here i know it's the right thing to do and i would regret it a lot if i didn't come and see my family and also it's not really that hard for me because we moved in together after like four months of us dating and now honestly i miss um living alone i actually enjoy the nice break and I'm sure he enjoys it as well. It's just a good time for us to grow as individuals, keep discussing our future all the time and if I had told you that we have things figured out I would be lying because we don't. Our situation is pretty messy and we are still trying to figure things out if we're gonna be able to make this work and how are we going to make this work because we both kind of want different things in life. Yeah, I'm gonna go and bring this food to my sister because she's probably starving. It's like 9.40 p.m. and she has to go to sleep because she has school tomorrow. No. No, 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 no,